Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, man. Just let me voice my opinion on this Manny Pacquiao getting pretty much the boot from HBO. I mean, it's just like you got to understand, you know, this is a business in HBO. I, I would say with the exception of the Floyd Mayweather fight, I think HBO lost a lot of money trying to put Manny Pacquiao on pay-per-view. His fights just wasn't selling. Except for the Floyd Mayweather fight, Manny Pacquiao, any of his fights did not do a million pay-per-views. There's a question of how many pay-per-views he actually sold in the first place. Some people think those numbers were inflated in the first place. And it's looking more and more like the numbers that were given to the public. You know, Timothy Bradley, too. You know, uh, Brandon Rios. Um... Timothy Bradley three, Chris Algieri. I think those numbers were worse than what, you know, Bob Aaron was putting out. Because based off the fact how HBO just pretty much said, hell no to this fight with Jesse Vargas, that says a lot. You guys need to understand the significance of this shit. HBO told Manny Pacquiao to go fuck himself. We're not putting this bullshit on. We're not buying this fight. No way. They had probably the projected numbers. This fight, I'm going to tell you right now, this fight probably at best would have did 150,000 pay-per-views. And HBO needed to profit off this fight. They need for probably this fight to be a success. They would have needed at least probably 600,000 to 700,000 for it to be a success. And Manny hasn't did them kind of numbers. You know, and I'm not hating on Manny Pacquiao. Fact is fact. I think Manny Pacquiao's pay-per-view numbers were inflated. And it's just, that's just the bottom line. Because if they wasn't, wasn't inflated, then HBO would be taking a chance with this fight. And then I think HBO felt like Bob Arum, you know, fooled them too many times. Like, it's like Dante said, we don't know what was said behind the scenes. And I think the Crawford post-style numbers were so terrible to where HBO just was like, uh-uh, no way. And like I said, I'll admit, post-style Crawford had no business being on pay-per-view. You never heard me say that that fight was pay-per-view worthy. I thought it was a good matchup, but I never said the fight should have been on pay-per-view. I don't think nobody thought that fight should have been on pay-per-view. Even the biggest Crawford fans, because we can accept the truth. Crawford at that time wasn't ready to headline his own pay-per-view. But if he would have fought Manny Pacquiao, it would have created a buzz. Nobody really knew who Postal was. People was familiar with Crawford because he was an up-and-coming fighter, but let's just face the fact. You know, Postal wasn't exactly what you call a, a household name. Now, if you're a, a boxing fan, a, a purist, and that just watch any fight that come on or love boxing and watch boxing whenever you can, then you would have knew who Postal was. So that's, that's the difference. Now, if Manny Pacquiao would have been fighting Crawford, then the anticipation for this fight would have been big. You would have had a, you know, you could have had set up a big, you know, world tour, not world tour, but you could have set up a couple of cross city tours, you know, to promote the fight. And I will give HBO credit because I ripped HBO for basically trying to put on two pay-per-views within the same month. I thought they were going to put Manny Pacquiao Vargas on versus Andre Ward and Sergey Kovalev. And I'm glad that HBO see which fight is more important and that they need to, you know, back. That's the fight that they need to be backing because this is the most important fight of the year. Not fight of the year, once again, most important fight of the year. So I'm glad HBO is going to be pretty much full steam ahead on trying to promote this fight. And that's great. But getting back to Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao fans have to accept the truth. Because like I said, these are the same fucking idiots 
they were sitting up saying that, you know, the other guy, you know, the dude that schooled Manny Pacquiao, you know, the guy that retired undefeated was cherry picking. Well, obviously, HBO thought Manny Pacquiao was cherry picking. Now, I guarantee you some of these Pacquiao fans are going to get on YouTube and start making videos or they're going to be coming on the comments they said, oh, well, HBO is racist towards Manny Pacquiao and they're a racist network and this, that, and, you know, all the other bullshit and that Bob Arum is a snake and all that shit. Now they go, they're going to start that shit up again and they're going to say that Bob Arum is disloyal to Manny Pacquiao. Look, Bob Arum wants to get rid of Manny Pacquiao's ass immediately. Look, Terrence Crawford is, you know, his new, you know, his new workhorse. So he wants, he doesn't want to make the same mistake with Terrence Crawford that he did with Floyd Mayweather. He thinks Terrence Crawford is his Floyd Mayweather. So he wants to feed Manny Pacquiao to Terrence Crawford. And let's just face the fact, Manny Pacquiao, he dug Terrence Crawford. It's just that fucking simple. He didn't want to fight him. He didn't believe he could beat him. Neither did Freddie Roach. Neither did Michael Kuntz. That's just, it's just that simple. And no need to try to talk around it. The same way Triple G did not want to fight Andre Ward. It's that simple. They ducked him. Just like Manny Pacquiao ducked Terrence Crawford. He wanted no part of him. Just like Manny Pacquiao pretty much ducked all those monsters at 147. The Keith Thurmans, the Porters, the Errol Spence. HBO is probably thinking thinking with Manny Pacquiao, look, if you and Bob Arum, you know, if Bob Arum and Al Heyman settled their differences, why can't you get in the ring with one of those dudes? Why can't you? Y'all, y'all, I mean, for real, y'all can't talk around this. Like I said, you can keep listening to those bullshit channels, you know, those fucking idiots that feed you bullshit. I'm feeding y'all the real. Y'all got to look at it from HBO's point of view. Why can't you fight Keith Thurman? Why can't you fight Errol Spence? Why can't you fight Porter? Why can't you fight, you know, any of those 147 guys. Why does it have to be Jesse Vargas? And and obviously they don't give a fuck about Jesse Vargas having no damn belt. So the gig was up. And HBO said, nah, no more. Either get your ass in a ring with somebody of significance or we not fucking with you. And Manny Pacquiao tried to play pussy with HBO, and he got fucked. It, it's just that simple, you guys. It's just no way to talk around this shit. But anyway, let me move on to the next video. I'm out.